hey guys this is crypto coin investor in this video i am going to show you how to um back up or recover the private keys from your huobi wallet or the coinbase wallet so huobi and coinbase are both very popular cryptocurrency exchanges um, but at the same time they also offer um wallet and these are very similar to the trust wallet that is supported by the binance so when the binance bought the um, a trust wallet uh, the coinbase went out and bought the toshi wallet and they renamed it to coinbase wallet and they also added um, support for other cryptocurrencies like uh, bitcoin litecoin and so on so uh Wobi also offers a wallet uh, before i start um i suggest you do not click on any of the ad links because some of them are not from the actual Wobi website so this for instance hobi.vc this is not the real site hobi.me is also not real site hobi.com is real but stay away from all the ads go for the real one this is hobiwallet.com so this is the real one click on it um so this is how you should download the wallet in the first place but we are not here to talk about downloading wallets we are here to recover private keys because both of these excellent wallets um do not let you download the private keys and i strongly think that while the recovery phrase is good enough uh it's the right of every user to have easy access to their private keys because remember not your private keys not your coin so uh, for this purpose i suggest you you use your desktop computer windows or mac either will do because we, all we need is a good web browser in Chrome or Safari either will do and you also need access to the 12 word recovery phase phrase um, this is the phrase that you can find in your Coinbase or Huobi wallet and you can go into the settings and you can find it and once you have done that I need you to go to the website iancoleman.io slash BIP39 I'll be mentioning the link to this website in the description down below you can also see it right on your screen right now um, it's very important that you do not type it because there are so many phishing sites out there and they look all the same and if you enter your your pass phrase on those websites anybody can access anybody can have access to your funds so your pass phrase can are more than enough for anyone to get access to your private key so and if they have your private key they can steal your funds so keep that in mind so once you are in this page let me zoom in a bit okay so this is what the page looks like this is called the mnemonic code converter and this will this is going to help you extract the private keys but you do need the passphrase so first thing that you need to know is that you must change uh, from 15 to 12 because both the coinbase wallet and the, the Huobi wallet both may use of 12 words so you do that and then here you have to type your words one by one and in between the words you have to put one space so like hello goodbye play um it's saying goodbye is not in the words because i'm just typing random words why would i type my passphrase here i don't want to give away my uh, word my uh, my funds to anybody else so let me okay it says in <laughs> in the mnemonic whatever um what should i write globe <laughs> it's in my name. whatever the thing uh just type in the 12 words whatever you have on your coinbase or Huobi wallet <coughs> sorry and then uh here you have to select the type of coin um, for which you want to see the private keys for so if you if you're recovering your funds from your bitcoin wallet make sure you have btc selector here then you scroll down and here here you will see the public address which is the address where you, you might have sent the funds and here you will see that private key you also see a QR code in which you can use to recover the funds and so on uh, if you if you're using SegWit addresses you might have to, or you're using some other form of addresses you might have to switch to BIP32 here and then you will have different set of 
different type of uh, addresses here and here you will see the private keys you will see many public addresses and private keys because these all tend to use many addresses to maintain to give you some sort of uh, privacy they do not use uh, same same address again and again similarly yeah, if you're let's say um, recovering litecoin funds the litecoins have different type of addresses um, one is segwit address some start from lkc some start from one some start from a g so you might have to toggle between these tabs to see the type of addresses here and then around side you will see their private keys um, so by default bip44 if you do not find your fund switch to bip32 or bip49 you should be able to find your funds you might you there is no need to switch to bip84 or bip141 right now because these both of these wallets either use bip32 or bip44 and in some cases they use bip49 and same goes for bitcoin cash um where's bitcoin cash mm. bitcoin is here where is bch um now okay this is funny the dash is here btc btc bch is here so yeah bch is also here and what if you want to recover ethereum funds so ethereum and then you will have the ethereum addresses here private keys here so you know if you want to recover funds uh, you just need your private key download the um, in case of Bitcoin and non ethereum coins all you have to do is download the uh, Electrum wallet. Yes, so you all you have to do is just download the Electrum wallet and You'll have to access to your private keys in case of ethereum and ethereum classic All you have to do is just go to my ethereum and or my crypto.com and you just paste your private key and you will have access to your fund and and tokens as well so that's very easy make sure you have 12 words separate uh, tell 12 words mentioned there and after every word you must type in type up space so globe then say bye and then say hello and then just like that uh, that's it i mean you'll be able to have access to your private key in no time using this method and it always works again um, I also suggest uh, downloading this page and colorman.io slash bip39 just download this page and run this page on an airtight computer if you have security concerns or if you think uh, your computer might have virus or malware I also suggest you to run this page on an airtight computer and by that I mean that a computer which has never been to internet and it has and you have freshly installed the operating system and just copy this page and, and use it on that computer that way your funds will be secure and nobody would have access to your mnemonic keys or private keys so that's all about it um, i hope you didn't find this video boring and you actually found it useful and give this video a like if i if you found it helpful um, i really appreciate it that's all i want from you guys and um Stay subscribed for more cryptocurrency, IC news, and such helpful tutorials. Bye bye.